It's now been decided to hold a Festival of Britain in 1951, and the site has been selected on the south bank of the Thames. This is a very blitzed area, and quite apart from the exhibition, it's proposed to make the south side of the river here as imposing as the opposite bank. Permanent features are to be a concert hall and eventually a national theatre in what is described as London's culture centre. Since the Festival of Britain in 1951, some of the world's most esteemed institutions have been built on the South Bank, which has transformed it into the main cultural quarter in London. On the east side, Tate Modern and the Shakespeare Theatre added a visual art quarter, but obstructive buildings blocked two cultural quarters. Now, PLP's Bankside master plan removes the blockage and plans eight new public spaces for local community and international visitors, opens up 14 wonderfully grand arches and stitches these spaces into city fabric with three new streets. Eight buildings reflecting industrial site heritage create a cluster of unique sculptural art objects. Each has its own material voice, such as brick and copper, resonating also with the brown brick object of the Tate Modern and its extension. Now finally, banks at yards connect and ignite two miles of London's culture quarter after 150 years of disconnect at this central location. Eight new public spaces create a cultural public realm necklace on the banks of Thames, a cultural and social center for a truly mixed vibrant neighborhood for people. And for environment, it is UK's first major mixed-use development to achieve net zero carbon operation. The railway viaduct is a key component of Sazak, rich industrial heritage. We are transforming its 14 arches in a way that celebrates their special quality and insert new culture, wellness, diverse social activities. These arches will form a final destination point to London's low line network that revitalize and connect Bank's ideas to Borough Market and South London and beyond. Together with our new culture square, it forms finale of London's low line in front of the River Thames. The permeability of the master plan creates a new urban scale actual point that will radiate outwards and connect from east and west the cultural institution from South Bank and Tate Modern, and from south to north, Sazak, St. Paul's, and the city, creating a new, truly human-centric cultural neighborhood for post-pandemic era.